You know, I've always been suspicious of the moon. So when I saw this horror game named Fear the Moon, I was like, ooh, what's this? It's actually a cryptid survival horror game with a focus on story. It spans across three chapters. There are four characters and basically you go camping with your friends in a Midwestern forest and you encounter a cryptid known as the Wolfman, AKA what appears to be a werewolf. Did we just crash our car? <laughs> Jane, that dream again. Well, I guess I should get up anyway. Yeah, two th what? it's 2.13 a.m. Is that what that means? 2.13 a.m.? Why should we get up at 2.13 a.m.? <laughs> yes, I can play the piano. Won't be needing any of that today. Uh, is it because we're going camping? Dun, dun, dun. What does this say? Hey, what's up? Oh, who? Clean your mess up. Oh, is this a, like an old school PlayStation? They don't make them like they used to. They sure as heck don't. And there's some VHS tapes. I like this. Eject. What's in there? Insert. Can I change the channel? No. Aw. Turn on. No signal. What do you mean no signal? I'm right here. Oh, man. I wanted to play some gameage before I went anywhere. Pick up. Phone. Okay. Tab to close. Check notifications or queue. We got one missed call. It says, oh, looks like Melissa called me. I guess I should call her back. Mm, okay, hold Q to call. Calling Melissa. Melissa? Hey, Jane, it's been a while. Yeah, it has. I hope you've been all right. Yeah, I've been great, actually. Just busy. How about you? Doing all right. Not dead. <laughs> Not dead. <laughs> That's good to hear. I was beginning to wonder. That might be some foreshadowing. Jane about to die. Get rid of me that easily. Hey, I'm going to be back in town soon. We should hang out. Really? Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, Jack actually had an idea where we could go on a little camping trip this weekend, like old times. Would you be interested? Haha, <laughs> yeah, that could be fun. Great. I'm so excited. I think James is coming too. Really? What's the occasion? It's a secret. What do you mean it's a secret? Oh, come on. Nope. You'll have to wait. Fine, fine. Oh! Okay. It's like, what? <laughs> Dang it, I didn't get to somewhere Ohio. Okay. <laughs> we are going deep in the woods. Holy crap. Oh, look, it's a... Excuse me? I love how the car is just sliding along. That was great. Jack, we're here. This is the campsite. Yeah, nice, isn't it? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I like how the road just led directly here. What do you think? Uh, I'm going to say I like it. Why not? I like it. Yeah, it's cool, I guess. I don't know. Maybe it'll grow on me. At least we can have a fire. Why couldn't you have a fire at any campsite? We used to hang out near here forever ago. I guess you guys didn't come along. Well, we should start getting things set up before it gets dark. Okay. 6 p.m. Dun, dun, dun. I like the, the audio cues and stuff. Remind me of like indie horror movies and indie horror games too, I guess. This is kind of cool. Oh, are we cooking? Dude, let's get going. What is this? Some, bro some hot dogs? Oh, man. Not bratwurst? What are you guys doing? You're messing up. All right. Um, what else do I need to cook? I wanted the hot dogs. We got some beer. We got some of this stuff. Am I just supposed to go put the hot dogs on the fire? I might as well. I'll talk to you. Hey, what's up, James? Hey, I'm glad you ended up coming. Well, Melissa wouldn't really take no for an answer, but yeah, me too. It's nice to see you. Yeah, you too. Do you need help with anything? It looks like we forgot to buy the firewood on the way here. Melissa won't be too happy about that. Yeah, there might still be some firewood left over inside a shack that's near here. Do you think you could go grab it? Sure. How do I get there? Oh, it's not too far. Just follow the right path and you'll find it. All right. I'll see what I can do. Cool. It's going to get dark soon, though. You should take this. Oh, thanks so much, buddy. Thanks. Try not to get lost. 
<laughs> inventory. You can equip items or view objectives through your inventory. It can be opened by pressing tab or I. Oh, okay. All right. So we got battery powered lantern and uh, hot dogs. I know I say that word funny. Everybody calm down. All right. We got to go get firewood. Uh, how do I like equip that? And then how do I like put it away? It's not it's not G for Gantlin for Gantlin. Is that the way he's going? He's going that way. Take the right path and you'll get there. So he went on the left path. So he's talking about I should take that path. Okay, before we do that, can we talk to these guys? Hey, what's up, Jack? So what do you think of the place? It's cool, I guess. A bit eerie, though, isn't it? Haha, <laughs> yeah, but that's part of the fun, I guess. Hey, don't worry. If anything comes out to get us tonight, I got this baby with me. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. That makes me feel a bit better. He does look like, like a college baseball coach or something <laughs> you know you can always count on me winks okay buddy all right calm down with the winks over there hey what's up melissa hey sorry if this didn't meet your expectations i guess i probably should have chosen the location oh no it's fine i'm just glad to see everyone again yeah me too it'll be fun to hang out once we get everything set up mm, okay whatever you say i don't think i actually need batteries for this uh lamp because there's no meter for the batteries all right we're just gonna run down Excuse me. I saw that or I, I saw kind of like a shadow and I more heard that. Okay. Oh, there's a raccoon. What's up, buddy? Raccoon noises. It seems friendly. I guess it's used to people giving it food out here. Maybe I could find something to give it back at camp. Oh, I found hot dogs. Can I give you hot dogs? Yeah. Happy raccoon noises. Enjoy it, buddy. Oh, yeah. There you go, pal. I gave you a hot dog. Fuck, we don't need to eat. You need to eat, though. It's just holding the hot dog and staring at it. With that music, that's kind of creepy, dude. <laughs> it's like obsessed. It's like hot dog. Is that the wolf man? Is that what turns into the wolf man? Or to the werewolf? Gave it a hot dog. Now it has taste for flesh. All right, we're about to see. This, why are all the trees dead? Like the trees further in the background have leaves and stuff, but the trees around us are dead. Does the wolfman eat trees? Okay, before we go inside, let's check around outside. Okay, there's nothing in the trash can. Can't walk back there. Okay. Uh, hello? Side door, maybe? It's locked. Tab to close. Do I need a key? I might need a key to get into this place. Uh, open a window. Okay, I could get in via the window. And that door is open. Okay. I don't know why I would open the window. Fear the moon. Buscuse me. All right. This is weird. There are, like, bars on this door. I don't know what to think about that. I accidentally locked the shed on my way out. Whoops. I think the key should be somewhere in that abandoned vehicle on the cliff. Also, I think something might have died in there. The place reeks. Okay. Abandoned vehicle off of the cliff. There's just a bed here. He's watching you. Who's watching me? EXB? Hmm... Abandoned vehicle off of the cliff. Can I get through here? I can see back there, but I can't get through here. So we got to get the key from the broken down vehicle near the cliff. I guess I guess I'm going to leave via this way. Close the door. Always close the door. I don't care that it's an abandoned shack. There's a path that diverges here. So we'll go this way and see if we can't find that cliff. Here's the outhouse. Oh, it's poopy. It said they stalk the woods at night, forever starving, forever in pain, aching to fill their empty stomachs, to feast on meat and organs. And once you hear their scratches echoing through the trees, it's already too late. Buscuse me? All right, close that. That's nasty. Y'all nasty. Hey, here's the vehicle. Here's the vehicle. <laughs> ah! Creepy, isn't it? Oh, James, you scared me. Oh, sorry. Haha. -ha. What were you saying? The house. You can see it from here. The house is kind of creepy. I will say that. Oh, yeah. I guess it's pretty creepy. Anyway, it's getting dark soon. Be sure not to get lost out here. You serial killer. That's what you are. There is no wolf man, is there? You're just a serial killer. All right. We have the shack key. We're good to go there. Whose car breaks down like this? And there is no body in here. I don't see anything dead in here. What kind of car is this? Box car? That place does look... I'm <laughs> pretty creepy. <sighs> All right, we're going to go back. We're going to open the shack. We're going to get the firewood, and we're going to go back to camp. We're going to do what the game tells us so that we die at the appropriate time. 
because I'm assuming that none of us are getting out of these woods. Unless it's my boy Jack back there after he murders all of us, right? <laughs> it's definitely going to be Jack. I don't, the music is picking up. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Um, I don't know where the shack key goes. I'm going to be honest. Oh, okay. That door just fell down now. Uh, is this it? And we should use the shack key, right? Yeah, there we go. Here's the firewood. Oh, there's a bunch of dead shit. It's gotten pretty dark. I should head back. Yeah. Can we get any of this stuff? There's a dead bird. I don't like that, dude. Why? Who bolted it up? Who bolted it up? Ah! Okay. Okay. Uh, why is the door? Hold on. I broke that door down by accident. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, we got to be a brave boy. We got to be a brave boy. We got to get back. It's just straight down this path. Oh, shit, dude. I, dude, I would... I used to be in the Boy Scouts. Used to have to go camping a lot. And even as a kid and even before playing horror stuff and really getting exposed to horror games and horror movies, I fucking hated it. I mean, I guess it could be relaxing in some respects, but just alone at night, deep in the woods, in your own little tent... You know, even if you have other people near you or around you, you hear people getting up, going to the bathroom and stuff. It's just creepy as fuck. I'm sure there are people out there who enjoy it. Wait. Okay, I was about to say, is that just Jack standing right there? Why? But I see... <laughs> I see James over there, too. I was going to be like, watch him just, like, transform into the werewolf, right? And then we're all dead and he's already killed both of them. But no, that's not the case. I got the firewood. Can I put it down? Can I put it down? Who do I talk to about this? I got to talk... Oh, I just put it right there. There we go. Hey guys, I brought back the firewood for a fire. Hey, are you okay? You look like you saw a ghost. I heard something weird in the woods. Yeah, you scared the shit out of me, okay? Oh, what did it sound like? I don't know, like a wolf or something. Huh, that's strange. There shouldn't be any wolves around here. Maybe it was the wolf man. Come on now, Jack, don't be ridiculous. What, he could be real. You know the stories, too. Yeah, I do, and it's made up. What's the wolf man? Just a bit of an urban legend around here. I swear I saw him in the woods one time after a party. And how many drinks did you have that night? <laughs> James out the gate accusing him. I don't know. A few? Uh-huh. I really did see something, though. It was tall and had these bright yellow eyes. Is that why you chose this place, Jack? Maybe. I can't believe you. I'm sure it was probably nothing. I'm sure it was probably nothing. Just freaked me out a bit is all. Can we get this fire started now? It's getting cold out here. Yeah, I'm ready to relax. Fine, fine. I'll get it started. We're all just going to stand around the fire now. Put our hands up. They're playing our song. Woo! Something tells me that everything is not okay. 9 p.m. Is this chapter two? Ooh. Jane, what are you looking at? Huh? Oh, sorry. It's just that it's a full moon out tonight. So it is. Sure is pretty, huh? Yeah. Well, when you're done admiring it, come get your food. It's getting cold. Okay, cool. Thanks. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay, did we make hot dog soup? Like, what did we make? Plus, I had the hot dogs. I'll need a bowl first. Okay, I'll go get a bowl. Take a bowl. Oh, I love how it comes pre-installed with a spoon, dude. It's pretty badass. Uh, I have a bowl. I have a bowl. So I just put it equip. I need to equip my bowl. I love it. <laughs> dude. All right. Can we set down? Hold E to set. I'm just eating. Hold Q to eat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Gross slurp noises. <laughs> Oh, man, I got to full on eat this, huh? Yum. Oh! oh, I did not expect this. How do they not see him? He's like right there. Come on, guys. Pay attention to your surroundings. How did they not hear him? Can I get up? I am scared, guys. Nope. 
Okay. James is coming. So, do you guys want to hear the legend of the Wolfman? Oh, great. This again? Hey, I know I can be obsessed with cryptid stuff sometimes, but this one is really creepy. Okay, sure. What is the Wolfman? Okay, so it's an urban legend out here about the man that used to own this property. He disappeared a long time ago, and there's stories that he never actually left. And instead turned into a wolfman that lurks the woods, attacking and eating animals and even humans. That sounds silly. It actually gets more twisted than that. He had a sort of animal sanctuary out here with lots of dogs he would take in and take care of. And he lived completely alone aside from the animals. So when he disappeared, no one knew. So when he disappeared, no one knew was gone for a long time. He was gone for a long time. When someone finally came out to check on him, they found something truly terrible inside the house. All the animals had starved to death, locked inside rooms and cages, scratches and blood all over the walls and doors. Oh my God, that's awful. Yeah, and that's not even the worst part. They say some of the animals had even started eating each other. But really, it's just stories told to try and keep kids from coming out here and underage drinking. Plus, with all the parties that used to happen out here, stories were bound to be made up from the things people thought they saw or heard. There's even been a few missing persons out here. Yeah, that's really why people don't come out here anymore. Cops really started cracking down on the place after that. So why are we out here? Huh? Jack? For old time's sake. Plus, all the danger makes it more exciting. You wouldn't want to hang out at any old campground, would ya, Melissa? It's okay. The most dangerous thing out here is deer and bobcats. Oh, and Jack here. <laughs> Dangerously handsome, maybe. You got tickets to the gun show? Okay. Uh, what? <laughs> Can I get up? What am I supposed to do here? Oh, it's the Red County. What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? That's so cool. He came to chill with us 10 p.m. just an hour later. We're still all sitting here. Okay, hold E to stand. It's been nice catching up, but I think I'm going to head to sleep. Yes, same. Today is me beat. Wait, before you guys go, Jack and I have something to tell you. They're dating. She's pregnant. They're getting married. Oh, what is it? Well, I guess I'll just say it. We're getting married. I called it. Although I had like five guesses. Oh, that's uh cool. <laughs> yep, finally decided to tie the knot. Wow, I'm happy for you guys. Thank you. I knew that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love that. You guys go ahead. Jack and I are going to hang out a little longer, I think. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love, dude, dude, this is no hate towards the developer, but I love little, little uh, indie games like this and just the animations and the stuff and the character models and everything. I could never do anything like this. It is very impressive that one person can pull this off, but I just love the, it just looks so stiff and they look so robotic sitting there. It's great. I love it. I love stuff like this. Where's my tent? There's only two tents. Am I supposed to stay with you, James? Did we used to be an item? I got the thing that there's some awkwardness between us. Did we used to be a thing? You can take the tent. I'll be sleeping in the van. Okay, I see. So that's how we're gonna do it, hey? Insert the tent. I feel like I would rather sleep in the van. I feel like it's safer, you know what I mean? You can just run up to the front seat and drive away. Run over the wolf man. Where are they going? So that's the house that I was at. Jack and Melissa are going there. Why are they going there? They have a tent right over there. 12 a.m. Holy shit. Oh my god. Melissa's dead. Jack too, probably. Did I just hear a scream? It sounded like it came from that old shack. I should make sure everyone's okay. Oh, bro. All right, let's get our lamp. Oh, dude. This is a bad idea. Bad idea in the map. Oh my god. They were having some fun, huh? Okay. All right. Nobody mentioned the devil's flower being utilized out here no wonder goddamn hoodlums okay we can't trust anything that we see now huh not <laughs> i love that this has like old school like uh indie horror movie vibes you know like this is exactly like if you asked me to write down a stereotypical story about an indie horror movie this would be it and i love it 
inspect seems empty. I wonder where James went. You know, it, I think it's kind of suspect that James was sneaking up on me. Okay, this is the way to the shack, right? That he's no longer sleeping in the van. Like, where is he? And Melissa and Jack walked off together. But James, I'm sorry, I said Jack. I meant James. But James, where is he? Where is he wandering around by himself? It's really, uh, no, that's where I fed the raccoon. It's really weird. I don't trust that guy, dude. I think they brought us out here to eat us. Or I think James did, at least. Ooh, it's spoopy and foggy. This game has a VHS filter, by the way. But I took it off, because VHS filters kind of give me a headache sometimes. I really appreciate it when devs who have that aesthetic on their game allow you to remove it. So kudos to the dev for that. Uh, okay, Melissa's alive. Uh, fear the moon. Uh, James is bad is there. Okay. Hey, Melissa. Jane, what happened here? I don't know. Me and Jack were just out here messing around and something attacked us. <laughs> messing around. Okay. I got it. Is that what the kids are calling it these days? It all happened so fast. I couldn't really tell what was happening, but I think Jack is hurt. Like really hurt. Okay. This is the man that you are about to marry. You guys are acting like you're teenagers and sneaking off to an abandoned shack to mess around just have sex in the tent next to us i mean come on nobody's gonna fault you for that just wait an hour until everybody goes to sleep you're adults keep your mouths shut what did you need to do this for you got your you got your fiance killed but this thing it was so big and fast it just picked him up and took him away like it was nothing i think we have to get out of here i don't know if we can help him at least not on our own okay okay we should get help <laughs> hold that <laughs> melissa and and, and <laughs> Melissa and Jack just got engaged or maybe not just but they just announced to us that they're engaged he literally gets hurt seriously injured by her account and stolen into the night by some cryptid creature aka a werewolf and she is immediately like fuck this we can't help him let's get out of here and it was almost an afterthought she's like maybe we can help him if we go get other help though Okay, okay, we should get help. Melissa, you... I think Jack should reconsider. <laughs> yes, we need to get to the van, but Jack had the keys. I think he dropped them in here somewhere. We have to find them. Can I get the baseball bat, please? Okay, thank you. Can I equip the baseball bat? One, two. All right. All right, ready weapon. Hold the right mouse button. Yeah. 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 Ah. Okay. <laughs> All right, Melissa, did you find the keys? No, I have not found the keys. You think you he dropped them in here? Really? Oh, I found them. Heck, could you not find these? Really? Okay, I've got the keys. Let's get out of here. Hey, I found the van keys. Let's get out of here. Thank God. Okay. Oh my God, dude. Uh, Jack, is that you? Are you alive? Oh my God, dude. Oh, he just stole her. I have to get out of here. Oh my God. He just stole her from the house, bro. Oh, okay. We're gone. <laughs> Fuck that. Melissa and Jack, may you rest in peace in eternity together. Your engagement was short lived, but sweet. I'm just running, dude. I'm running straight back to the van. We are not looking back. I'm getting, okay. I, I ran out of stamina. We had to take a look back. Where the hell is James? Where is James? Ja we're just going to leave James. Fuck James. Bye, James. James, you better be in here. Unlock with the van keys. Open. We're getting the hell out. Get in the car. Hold E. Bye. <laughs> Screw this. <laughs> look behind. Okay, God, that scares. Uh, start car. Uh, start car with the van keys. Hold S to reverse. And we can look behind. Old S. Ah! Ah! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh! Hey, buddy! Oh god, he bit my arm! Oh man, he just pulled me. Oh no. This went from this went from bad to worse quickly. Uh, why does my arm have no bite marks? No injury damage. He's taking me to the house. I'm inside a cage. He's treating us like the animals he used to keep. If it's actually the guy that used to live out here. I'm surprised that I'm alive. 
I gotta say, no visible signs of injury either. My head hurts. I feel so strange, like something's under my skin. What did that thing do to me? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We've been bit by the werewolf. We're gonna turn into a werewolf. Chapter two, alone. Dun, dun, dun. All right, chapter one was longer than I expected. Hell yeah, dude. Awesome. There's three chapters total. So, all right, what is this? Save progress. Oh, sweet, dude. I made it. That's the first save, though. I can store things inside of here. Oh, dude. Now we're really kicking into the survival horror stuff. That's pretty dope. We got a backpack. Melissa's backpack. Okay. This looks like Melissa's backpack. I should try to find her. Hold E to exit the safe room. I can now carry more items. How many items can I carry? Two more. Okay. Not bad. Very, very... Ooh, there is scratch marks everywhere. Yes, that is correct. All right, so we just have to check everywhere. We don't have a flashlight yet. I actually can't get in there. Uh, it's too dark to go that way. I'll need something to light the way with. Okay, so we need a flashlight. And then that's the symbol for safe room. A moon and a sword going through it. There's a dog bowl here. Picture in the woods of nothing. Okay. This place is really... Picture in the woods of a bunch of red lights. Interesting. What's under here? Oh, I can hide? Oh, dude. Oh, no. I didn't know there would be a hiding mechanic. That scares me. That means he's going to be chasing me in the house. This is creepy. All right, we're going to shut the doors behind us. The paintings on the wall are pretty cool. Uh, Reset rotation. Okay, so is that a puzzle? It smells strange. It smells strange. I think I see bugs crawling around it. Ew, that's gross, dude. That is gross. We can turn the light off and on in here. Just just some old books, okay? Um, TV. A flashlight, please. Wolfman's House, page one. It was their sophomore year of high school, and Toby had finally convinced Michael to come with him to the Wolfman's House. He had wanted to go all summer after hearing about the ghost dogs that haunted the property. The house was chained shut on every entrance, so Toby brought some bolt cutters. They managed to get into the basement. Upon entering, they found strange stone artifacts, old books, and even an old sword. The artifacts seemed to be inscribed with something, but not in a language either of them knew. Interesting. Very, very interesting. All right, nothing else. That was page one of Wolfman. We're going to leave the door open once we've cleared the room. All right, somebody's been dragged that way. So before we go in there... We're going to try this place, a la the bathroom. I could shit my pants right now. There's somebody dead in here. Toby! Oh, no. Toby was the guy from the, uh... <laughs> he was the guy from the note. Okay, good old Toby is dead in the shower here. That's not good. No need for that. I wonder if it even works. Does it matter? No water comes out. Okay. It's not real. I wish. I wonder who wrote this. Toby, the dead guy in the fucking... In the, in the bath? That's who wrote it. I'll tell you that right now. All right, I have a knife. I should probably equip it, right? That's all I have. Can I not equip it? Okay, it must be used for something else then. Use the... I can't pick a lock with this. Okay. Well, I was going to try, I guess. I don't know what to use this for then. Reset rotation. Can I take the batteries? Oh, batteries times two. Reset the rotation. Interesting. I don't know why I should be able to do that. Um, I got batteries and I have a knife. I'm going to save. Hold E to enter the safe room. We're saving, baby. Survival horror. We got to we gotta stay on our toes, you know? I can't see anything in there. It's too dark to go this way. I'll need something to light the way with. Yeah, I need a, a gash light. There's no two ways around it. I need a gash light. I got to find a gash. Ooh. We could teabag the wolf man when we kill him. Man, there's got to be something. I'm missing something. What do I have? I have a pocket knife and a battery. Did I miss anything in the drawers? God, dude. Oh, dude, this. Where's the wolf man at? Where's he at? The drawer seems stuck. Oh, pocket knife it, bro. Hey, we got a key. We got a key to the to the room that was locked back here. That's exactly what this is. Okay. Moving forward. That was, uh, I was wandering around trying to figure out what to do. And it, uh, you know, what happened was I was just dumb. I was just an idiot. Golden key, please unlock. Please open. All right, we're going to close this. Although, 
All the windows seem to be barred off. Yes, they are. There's a lot of blood in here, dude. Looks like a standing mirror. I wonder why it was covered. Is there lore around werewolves and uh, mirrors? I don't remember there being, but I'm, I'm not an expert. It's been a long time since I've consumed any sort of uh, horror media related to werewolves specifically. So I think it used to be used a lot and it's seemingly fallen out of fashion recently, I guess. Just some old books. Seems like something's leaning against the door. Am I supposed to use something here? A lockpick? A lockpick to open? There's going to be a body. Ah! Is that Melissa? Shit. Is that Melissa? She's dead. I can't believe this is happening. I need to get out of here. Oh my god. She's wearing a different shirt though. <laughs> Did anybody notice that? That's not the same shirt she had. Her guts are hanging out. That's terrible. Oh, poor Melissa. She was dead in the closet. Oh, Melissa. She is wearing a different shirt, though. Why did the wolfman change her shirt? Okay. Well, she didn't survive. That sucks. Sorry, Melissa. Some items can be combined together by dragging the correct item onto its target or by using the combine button. Okay. Um, Combine with the, with the gaslight. And then we're going to put the gaslight right there. And we can't equip the pocket knife. Okay, that's fine. One of these days, the community, the indie game community, and the gaming community in general will come, come around to the idea of the gaslight. It's going to happen. I'm going to save. I'm going to save. We kind of finished up all these rooms in this area. So there we go. We don't want to have to do that again. We got our gaslight going right here. We're in the dark. <gasps> oh my God. We got to go. We got to go, bro. We got to go. Now, it looks like I won't be getting out this way. Hell, is he? It sounds like someone may be stuck inside. I should try finding a way in. I'm sorry. I panicked a little bit there. I felt like he was coming up on me and I was being chased. I didn't like that. Oh my god. Uh, okay. I had a moment. I don't know why that just tripped me out. It felt like it was getting closer and closer, and I couldn't. I could. I couldn't take it. Oh my god. Oh god, okay, here's where I could have... The sink seems to work. Okay, so I could use the sink if I need to wash something off. Uh, like something that was in the trash? No? Uh, we could turn that on. Close this off. This says red, blue, plus green. It's locked by a padlock. I can't open it. Red, blue, plus green. Red, blue, plus green. Alright, we need to find out where that's at. God, dude. I... Uh, the panic red blue plus green so the blue door is locked so we have to figure out a way in there okay oh my god dude what is this looks like it's locked by some sort of security system okay uh green is locked as well how are we gonna get into any of these places does this circle around oh man oh man oh gosh oh gosh george are, are my batteries gonna run out or no the the flashlight's just endless i guess after a certain point, somebody was writing something here. Was it the Wolfman? Was the Wolfman writing here? It's 1224 PM. So it's not even nighttime. It's not AM. That's P that's lunchtime. Why is it dark outside? It's just a bag of trash. It's a bloody bag of trash. I don't think it's just a bag of trash. I'll say that much. Unlock. I can't get it open. It's locked. Pocket knife. I can't pick a lock with this. I know you've already told us. Oh, the drawers seem stuck. Pocket knife. Pocket knife, baby. We got a key. Okay, we got the green key. So that's for the green room. Right? And there's nothing else. And open that. Nothing in there. These are the cages where he keeps all of his victims. We're going to keep them unlocked. Oh, uh, is that... That's a dog. And then this is... Grab item. Looks like something might be inside of whatever that disgusting stuff is. I could probably find something to grab it out of there with. Why would I not just... <laughs> I'd rather not stick it in there. Uh, that's what she said. <laughs> Open. I had to unlock. Okay, so the green room was... That's red. Is red unlocked? No, red is not. We need the red... The green key or the red key. I know my colors. Don't bother me. Here's the green room. Okay, we have the green key. Open. We're gonna close you. All right, open the washer and dryer. Don't know what that's gonna do. Okay, I got glove. I could go pick up whatever's in that pile of mess. 
Uh, what is this? It's always listening. Be careful. It hates loud noises. This wood seeps thin. I could probably break it down with something. So that's how we get out of here. Nine. Nine is our first thing. Okay. Noted. All right. I know where to go to get... I need to put the glove on. I need to put the glove on. Looks like something might be inside. Yep, yep, yep. Put the glove on and then you can grab it. Ooh. What is that? Dirty lockpick. I feel like the wolfman is taunting me. He's just like kind of letting me run around and flail and like try to figure out stuff on my own, but it's not working. Dirty lockpick here. No, can't use that. You need the color keys. Looks like it's locked by some sort of security system. Yeah, can I not use my lockpick on it? There's, I can't use the lockpick here. I use lockpick here. No, this is that place I went into. I can't use the lockpick there. Oh, the lockpick is for this. That's right. It's locked. Dirty lockpick. It's too dirty to be useful. Oh, I got to use the sink. I got to use the sink. I got to use the sink over here to clean it off. I got it, dude. I'm picking up what you're putting down right here. Yeah, wash it off. I love how... Oh, it's under the water. So let's go back. Let's use the lockpick on that cabinet. I could have went the other way. It would have been so much easier. And then what do we have here? We have a hammer. Oh boy, it hates loud noises. Okay, all right. All right, hammer time, baby. No, 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 no. We gotta break this down. This wood seems thin. I could probably break it down with something. Hold and hit. Run, 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 run. Oh my God. He doesn't know I'm here. He doesn't know I'm here. Oh, dude, he's right there. Is he that stupid? He can't smell me. I'm really surprised he can't smell me. Nope, nope, nope. Oh my god, dude. He like locked on to me as soon as I was here. Where did he go? We know green is nine. We haven't opened the other two rooms. This is going to be one of the keys, right? Oh, okay. Yep, red key. I called it. What else is here? What is the point of this room? Why was it barred off? It's really weird. Okay, so green is nine. The red room is back down here at the end of the hallway, right? Uh, red key. We're finding all of Wolfman's secrets out today. Oh, this place looks absolutely horrible. Looks absolutely terrible. Okay, so... We <laughs> oh, boy. We know we need to break that down. We need to leave that open before we do. I'm assuming that that's going to be locked. Is that his padded room where he keeps himself when he transforms? He doesn't want to hurt people. All right. Wolfman's house, page three. The spirit box had been going off intermittently while they were there, but nothing too conclusive was said from it. Toby sat next to it to the upstairs door while he unsuccessfully tried to pry it open. Then a distant crash was heard from upstairs, followed by snarls, some sort of animal. The spirit box seemed to react to its presence immediately. First, it went silent. Then it started screaming as if in multiple voices. Run, run, run. The moon swallows you whole, then cutting to loud, high-pitched static, causing them both to cover their ears. The creature roared. Hmm, there's a skull in there, too. My boy. There's another thing. Is this going to be the key for the other thing? What is this? Yes, blue key. Okay, so we have all the keys. We've got all the keys. There's an arm bone there. Okay, listen. We have to... We'll run right back into that room after we break this down. All right. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, hide. Hide, 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 hide. Hide, 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 hide. I don't know what we needed to break that down for. We have the other room key, but I did it. It's probably the letter to the, to the box over there. We'll see. Yeah, buddy, you just need to go away. Nobody's here. Nobody's here. Oh my God. His footsteps are so loud.
Okay, I don't know where he's going. What is this? Inspect? Oh my god. Why did that look like that? I don't, what is the point of this? Grab? It looks like some sort of lever. It's too far for me to grab with my hands. Uh, use the hammer. It's not long enough to reach. Okay. We need something to be able to get that. I don't know why we were seeing... We had like a vision of a skeleton of a thing. There should be a number in here. Seven. So this is red. Seven is red. Green is nine. We have the blue door key. We should go ahead. You know what we should do? We should save. We shouldn't take a chance. We should go back. This is survival horror. We've made some progress. Let's save. Your boy's being safe. Now we're going into blue door, right? Is that the one? Yeah, blue door with the blue key. Hell yeah, dude. Five. Okay. So five, seven, nine. Is that what it's going to be? Five, seven, nine? Um, no, it's seven, five, nine. Seven, five, nine. Seven, five, nine. Seven five oops wrong way oh it only goes one way okay seven five nine there we go open we got a cane handle okay i know exactly what this is for i think it's to use to reach this over here i believe we're gonna try we're gonna try to grab it with the cane handle cane handle it's not long enough to re oh we need to make the cane okay that makes sense. So we need the other part of the cane. We need some sort of... This mechanism looks like it's missing a piece. Oh, that's the lever over there to get out. Oh, shit. That's how we get out of here. So we need to make a full cane to be able to grab the lever, to put the lever on there to open that. Okay. We still need to explore blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We still need to explore blue. I hadn't explored all this yet. Can I break that? We might be able to break that. Let's inspect the room. What's in here? There's a vent and a keypad main control that would unlock that would unlock the locked door if we knew the code i do not have a lock pick so we can't do that i could hit this there's a vent there and then use my pocket knife to turn it off let's see what's up here first oh oh my god there's a whole other area all right you know what let's do this oh god that's bad he hates loud sounds he hates loud sounds. Did that do anything? I don't know that that actually did anything. This door is jammed somehow. It won't budge. Okay. Uh, no water comes out, so that sink doesn't work. It doesn't light. We have drawers we can open. Wolfman's house, page four. It pulled Michael from under the table. He screamed, but the sound was cut off as his throat was ripped out. His body went limp. Toby witnessed the whole thing. The creature began eating him on the floor. Toby used it as a chance to get away. The entrance they used seemed to have been locked somehow. He tried to open it quietly, but it wouldn't budge an inch. Panicked, Toby tried to get as far from the thing as possible. He found himself in a bathroom. A distant growl was heard, followed by footsteps. Toby jumped into the bathtub and closed the curtains. The creature entered, bashing the door down. Then silence. Much time went by. Toby opened the curtains slightly, but there it was, standing there, concealing its presence. It roared and grabbed Toby by his leg, tearing the muscle from it with its sharp teeth. It tore his stomach open as if going for the best meat first. Toby laid there wishing for death, but it never seemed to come. The creature wanted him alive. It wanted him fresh. Oh my God, that's terrible. The drawer seems stuck. Yeah, we got a pocket knife. I can get into that. Toby's pocket knife has come in handy. Okay, we have a lockpick for that door now. So we're gravy there. Uh, there's more stuff here. What is this? We have a safe room key. Safe room key. Okay. Hmm. I don't know what the safe room keys for. Anything in the trash? Nothing. What about this? Was I supposed to use the lock pick on that or the other door? Oh, well, too late. I've used it on this one. Uh, hello. Oh, there's another safe. Oh, is this the safe room key? Yeah, we unlocked a second safe room. Let's fucking go, dude. <laughs> that was James. Wait, no, no, Jake. Sorry, sorry. That was Jake. Why am I seeing Jake? Holy crap. Wait, the, the wolf man's here. Why? What the hell was that? What the fuck, dude? I don't like that. What was that? Inspect? The stick is stuck inside the mouth. I can't pull it out. What's the note say? 
Max. Max had a taste for blood and an impossibly strong bite. He lived away from the other dogs and attacked anything on sight. Then one day, a raccoon found its way inside. It didn't stand a chance as Max wrapped his mouth around its neck, ferociously shaking and tearing it to shreds. There was one thing that would release Max's death grip, offering him a fresh bone to bite on instead. So we need a bone. Place bone? This looks like a dog skeleton. Also looks like some of its bones are missing. Okay, so I need to find its bone. Left foot. Right femur. Right humor. I don't know where that is. Right humorous. Sorry. Right forearm. Right foot. Right shoulder blade. Okay, so we need to find all of these. Okay. We need to get all of your bones back. All right, I've got you. Um, okay, what is this? Doesn't want to move. Okay, noted. All right, we know all those places. I'm going to save since we read all of that and stuff, and we're right here. Why did I see Jake's, like, dead corpse when I went into the safe room? I don't like that. Okay. It's kind of weird. We're going to go put this back. It's kind of weird. He still has six bones missing. There we go. Right femur is in the washing machine. All right. Can I open this? No, the door is jammed. Somehow it won't budge. And what is this door? Is this the other door? No. Okay. Um, oh, dude, this is so... There was a door over here, right? Yeah, could I have used the lock pick on this? It's locked. It's like I need more lock picks. So where's the washing machine again? It's right here. All right. Uh, and then there was also in that room with all the cages, right? In here, there's a couple bones. So there was... Yep, there's a shoulder blade. Do I have room? I don't have space for anything else. So I'm gonna have to run back up. And we're going to have to put these on and then we're going to have to come back down and get the other ones from that room. No problem here. The wolfman seems to not be bothering me. Yep. We, we, it feels, we still have three bones. He's still missing three bones. Should I put something away? I feel like I should put something away. I know where those two are. Those are the cage, the cage areas. I know where that's at. What I don't know is where that's at. And I'm going to have to figure out how to get there. All right. We're going to save, though. We're going to save. And I think we're going to put the uh, cane handle away because we don't need it right now. We're working on the bones. And that way I can pick up all three bones. I feel like did I use... I don't think I used the lock pick on the wrong door. It wouldn't let you do that, right? It wouldn't let you. We'll move that out of the way. Can we do something here? Inspect. I can't pull it off with my hands. It's fastened to the wall. Yeah, but I could use... We need, like, a screwdriver. I could use my thing. I feel like I could use my pocket knife. That's a game trope to the max, right? I could use my pocket knife to pull it off, dude. For sure. We need a screwdriver. All right, we got that one. And then where was the place again with the cages? It was here. Okay. We still haven't made... We, we need that for the cane. The bone was in a bucket. Where's the bucket? Oh, it's right here. Okay. Let's go put these bones on. We're making progress. Progress has... <gasps> oh my God, I'm gonna hide. Oh my God, he scared the piss out of me, dude. I think I legitimately... I legitimately... Oh, dude. Need new underwear. Oh God. You son of a bitch. I'll fucking hammer you. Okay, I don't know what he's doing when he does that. He's just like ripping through the house, but you know. Put a hole in the ceiling. Good job, buddy. Ruining your own house, you damn idiot. All right, back to the room. Add the two bones we have. We're missing one bone. I think it's in that locked room, but who knows how to get to it. All right, the right humerus is in this room. Move the camera around. There's two doorways into this. I don't know what to do here. I'll be honest. We're going to save. We're going to get the cane handle back out because we only need one bone now. Oh, I found another letter. Page two, Wolfman's house. Toby brought some equipment with him to help hunt for the ghost dogs, including a spirit box thought to allow the dead to communicate with the living. 
and an EMF reader believed to detect the presence of ghosts. Toby couldn't have been more enthused as he held the EMF reader inside each cage, watching it rocket up to its highest level, 5. Watching sent chills down Michael's spine, but he wrote it off as bad wiring in the dilapidated house. Still, though, the house gave him such an unsettled feeling, especially the strange noises he kept hearing coming from the empty rooms. Oh, we got all the pages. The last page was the one where uh, Toby died. Okay, cool. Well, I'm still trying to figure out how the hell we're supposed to move forward. I feel like I'm missing a screwdriver or something. Okay, so I think I finally figured it out. There is boards on the bottom of this door here. I can't believe I missed this in this room. We're supposed to break these, and then I believe we'll be able to open this door, go in here, and I think the uh, right humerus is on the floor in here, I believe, and that'll be the final bone. As soon as we do this, though, he's going to get us. And I don't know where he's going to come from. So we need to get back down to that hiding spot. But we're going to have to we're going to have to figure out which way he's coming from and go the opposite way, I would assume. So we've pissed him off. He's right there. I'm trying to, like, look both ways. Did he break the door? <gasps> he broke the doors down. Oh, my God. He breaks doors down. Dude, get the hell out. Run. Oh, my God. 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 I'm safe. He does not know I'm here. I'm good. Woo! Oh, dude. It's a good thing the layout of this house is easy to remember. Otherwise, I would have been screwed. I would have been absolutely screwed, dude. Okay, he's gone, I think. We're good. We're going to go back upstairs. He broke the doors down. Good shit, man. My bones should be right here. Hell yeah, dude. Okay. Ooh. That was, uh, that was a whole thing. Okay. All right. Place the bone. One bone still missing. Not anymore, buddy. And then you press that. He's going to drop it. We gave him all of his bones. All the bones are in place. Yeah, all the bones are in place. I want the cane. Pick up. There we go. Now we can... Where is he? Where is he? Oh, my God. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. No! Dude, go, go, go. He's so fast. He's so fast. He's right on my ass. Ah! Oh, my God. I'm alive. I'm alive. Oh, God. Okay, we have the cane. We know what to do with the cane. We know what to do. We just got to combine it and use it to get the lever to open the door in that place. Oh, my God. I think we are officially at the end of chapter two, I believe. I forgot that I left the cane handle in there while I was getting bones. Combine. Oh yeah, we are all gravy. All right, the cane handle is downstairs, right? Is where we're supposed to go. Door is jammed somehow, won't budge. Gotcha. Cane handle place. Oh, dude, which one was it in? It was in, um, it's not there. It was in the room with, it's in the red room. It's in the red room. Red room, red room. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, he, he hates loud noises. I don't like that. Yeah, I see you, buddy. I see you. Yeah, it's too far, but not with the cane, baby. This would not work, though. I mean, I guess it could. It might, but I feel like it would be... It would, like, fall off the side, right? Okay, we got the lever. We got the lever. We're gonna go ahead and do it over here. We're gonna put it in. Interact. Looks like it's missing a piece. It's missing a lever. We're going to pull the lever. The lever opens the door. <gasps> That's James. James? Jane, is that you? James, thank God you're alive. Same for you. I thought I was the only one left. I think it's just us. The wolf man got Melissa and Jack. What? Melissa too? It wasn't supposed to be like this. What do you mean? Uh, nothing. Look, we need to get out of here. Yeah, I've been trying, but this place is like a prison. Tell me about it. I think there's some sort of security mechanism locking some of the doors. That's how I got trapped in here. You'll need to turn it off somehow. Okay, I'll try, but will you be okay in there? Yeah, I'll be fine. It hasn't found a way in yet. By the way, are you feeling all right? You look a bit strange. I don't know. Strange? Strange how? Not sure. Just something about your eyes. Forget it. It's probably just the light. This place has me feeling crazy. Yeah, me too. Oh, and hey, before you go, you should take this. Might come in handy for you. Screwdriver. Oh, dude, thank you. That's just what I needed. Looks like it's locked by some sort of security system. Yeah, that's not how it was supposed to go. Is he in league with the fucking wolf man? 
All right, reset the security system, escape the house. So there's a bunch of vents that we need to open, right? That are gonna allow us to do stuff. One of the vents was in the uh, laundry room area over here. So we're gonna go to that vent. Where was it? The laundry room right here. We're gonna try this vent first. Inspect. Camp, it, my, my hand is fastened to the wall. Yeah, we need the screwdriver. We need to equip that bad boy. Old E to use. Oh, we actually got to do all four screws. That's great. <laughs> Good shit, dude. All right, here we go. Can I not go in here? Or is that just a way out? Did I just need to do that as the way out? Okay, there's a couple of other vents. I don't remember exactly where they are, but we'll find them. All right, here's the other vent. It was outside this room out in blue door before you go up the stairs. So I got this shit. We're doing it. We're doing it. Oh, yeah, boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, Z to prone. I didn't even see that last time. Okay. We got to go all the way prone. I got you. I'm like sitting here trying to do stuff and I'm like, what's going on? I can't do this. What's happening? Oh, James is over here. Hey, what's up, James? We've unlocked this door. I don't know how that helps us. Oh, this is the main control. I'll need a code to unlock this. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we need to find the code. And I think I know where the code is. It's in the other place with the vent, the laundry room, right? Right here. Z to go prone. I just totally missed that prompt when I did this one. Makes sense. This is a really tight space. You got to get really low. You got to crawl through it, right? It's going to drop us out where? Oh my God. Paint roller. Oh, code. The code's in there. Caged prey. On a farm, there was a barn cat. In the day, it would hide from dogs. In the night, it would hunt for rats. It loved to break their legs and watch them struggle, making them think they could escape before eating them whole. But one day, the cat grew bored and saw birds by the road. And so that day, it decided to hunt for crows. It snuck real close and waited for its time to strike. And when the time finally came, it lunged on its prey and it died. But what the cat didn't see was the incoming car. The car was too fast, so the cat couldn't get very far. The car hit the brakes, but it was too late. The cat had gone from hunter to prey. Oh, that's sad. Looks like another dog skeleton. Yep. Yeah. Dead rats. It's a bunch of rats. Disgusting. It's the dead cat. Looks like a dead cat. Poor thing. Dead bird. Looks like a dead crow. No. Placed in it. Oh, the story tells us how to unlock. Oh, my God. Okay, I get it. I also recognize this place. It's this place. Open the door. It's this place right outside the original safe room. Holy shit, dude. The note is in my inventory. So caged prey. So the cat is first and then the dog and then the rats and then the crow. So cat is first and then the dog and then the rats and then the crow. Hell yeah, brother. We got the code 5714, 5714. All right, I'm going to save again. Save again because I don't trust it. I don't trust it one bit. And we're also going to put our hammer back on. Not that the hammer is really going to kill the wolf man, but you know. Son of a bitch! Son of a bitch! That asshole was standing at the end of the hallway. He was waiting. He was about to get us. And we have survived. Fuck you, dude. Okay, we got to get back to where James... Where was James again? I've forgotten where my boy was. Was he over here? He was over here. Yeah, here's the code. 5714. Enter. System. Oh my god, what did I do? Okay, I put the code in. Did it work? Yes, I think we should be able to get out of here now. Okay, let's go. The wolfman can come any second. Yeah, I'll meet you at the basement entrance. You two, don't let it hear you. Hold D. Hey, where did you come from, brother? Game saved. We made it out. Woo woo. All right, I guess we made it to the basement. Never mind. <laughs> Chapter three, acceptance. Dun, dun, dun. What's up, James? Hey, I know things are rough, but it's going to be okay. We can get out of this. I don't deserve to make it out of this. What? Why would you say that? Look, Jane, there's something I haven't been telling you. It wasn't Jack's idea to come here. It was mine. What? What do you mean? I knew the Wolfman was real. Well, I knew it was more than just stories anyway. What? How would you know something like that? Well, you know already, my dad's a cop and people really did go missing out here, but that's not the full story. He told me they found one of the bodies. They were completely mutilated in a way no animal out here could have done, not even a man. 
There was a big hunt looking for whatever could have done it. They thought it could be a bear or something, but they didn't find a thing. But my dad always warned me to never come out here after that. He believed something was out here. I knew the stories. I knew it would be a full moon tonight. So I told him we should come here. And you know, Jack, he's always been obsessed with cryptids. So of course he jumped on the idea. And the thing is supposed to be territorial. So when it got late, I told him about the shack, convinced him it was a good idea. I watched from the woods as the thing broke in and pulled him out. I heard him screaming. But after that, I knew things were going too far, so I ran after him. But when I found him, he was dead. The creature had already eaten most of him. I started to run, but it caught me. I screamed and tried to get away, but it just knocked me unconscious. I guess it wasn't hungry for me yet. But why would you do this? They're our friends. Because I hate him. I've always hated him. Him and his perfect life and how he always rubbed it in our faces. Like getting married to the perfect girl. He dragged us all the way out here just to tell us that. Holy shit, this guy brought us out here so that he could kill his friend or get his friend killed? She should have been mine. Oh, dude. I just wanted their perfect night to get ruined. I wanted him to hurt. Look, I know I'm twisted, but I really didn't mean for it to end up like this. Can you ever forgive me? I'm going to say you're pathetic. James, I honestly can't believe this. You're pathetic. Yeah, I know. I deserve that. I just hope somehow I can redeem myself. Redeem yourself? How, dude? You just got two people killed and he disappeared. What the fuck, dude? You just disappeared. What the hell does that mean, bro? Safe room. Flashlight. I need my hammer out, bro. I need my hammer out. All right. What is this? What door is this? What are all these? It's like a mirror into another dimension. Rotate. We got to do something with these. It's a mirror puzzle like in Legend of Zelda. Uh, what happens? Okay, we need a light bulb. Uh, we need to get some light. We need a light bulb and then we need light to go on around there. Turn on. Hey, okay. Uh, what is this? The weapon, an unstoppable beast, an insatiable bloodlust. It will tear out every piece of you until there's nothing left. A sword to kill it hidden in the dark. Use the moonlight to show you the way. Stab the beast through its heart to free you from its torment and pain. Oh, shit. Uh, hey, buddy. Uh, look, I know you don't like me much right now, but we're going to need to work together to get out of this. I found Jack's bat. I'll try to use it to fight. You should find something, too. I'm going to find a fucking sword, dude. I'm going to find that sword. Hold E to rotate. We got to we gotta rotate it that way. We got to get it in that room. Okay, tab to exit. So we got it to that mirror. Then we need to rotate this one to get it onto that right and then tab to exit and then we need to rotate this one right we're gonna rotate it this way i think we're rotating it through the wall that's okay don't worry about it we're gonna rotate this one as well i'm gonna get it i'm assuming we have to beam it through all the mirrors we could probably have just rotated this one and kind of beamed it there but i'm assuming that the game wants us to use all the mirrors so that's what we're gonna do or that's what we're gonna shoot for i guess i should say who knows if it'll actually work yeah dude this is like right out of the light temple in zelda there we go and then we just need to rotate you a little to catch the light right no we need to rotate you some more there we go and now we need to rotate you some more catch the light right there and now you are gonna hit that and now we have the sword oh yeah silver sword tab closed what does it say about the sword sword with a silver and steel blade the pommel's gemstone glows when held in my hands yeah oh yeah i'm a fucking badass dude all right we're gonna save hell yeah i'm ready to werewolf hunt all right, I should probably figure out how to use this thing, right? So hold left mouse button to ready and then hold to stab. Okay, and we got to get him in his heart, right? All right, let's go. Let's go, James. Are you sure you're ready to go? We need to be prepared. Yeah, let's leave. I'm ready to do this. Yes, let's get the hell out of here. Hell yeah, man. Oh, boy. This is going to be a fight, isn't it? Oh, <gasps> he's right there. Oh, dude. James is going to get fucked up. A baseball bat against a werewolf? It's over, baby. It's you over, George. Gonna break your face, motherfucker. Let's go. I'm gonna stab you. Yeah! Let's go! 
Yeah, die, you monster. James, we did it. James is dead. <laughs> uh, James? <laughs> he already has flies over him. His eyes are already white. He looks like he's been dead forever. Jane, dot, dot, dot. I guess I'm the only one left. Vomits. It's yellow in color and almost glowing. Some strange chunks present in the spew. It feels as though the claws digging into your chest since you woke up finally released and you can breathe again. I need to get help. We're a werewolf because the werewolf bit us. Fear the moon. We finally get to see Jane. A solo development project by Johnny R at Johnny's Games. Art by Johnny R. Art assets used. Okay, music by Johnny R. Oh, this is awesome, dude. Such a good job. I really enjoyed that. That's a nice little one-man indie game with the story. The whole werewolf aspect and just the way the game played out. I like that. That was fun. And, and thanks to you for playing. I hope you enjoyed this Tale of the Wolf, man. If so, please consider sticking around for future ones. Hell yeah, dude. Well, great job, man. Great job. Really, really, really enjoyed this. I thought this was a great little indie game. I hope you guys did too. Let me know what you think down below. Do you have any legends in your neck of the woods about any cryptids in the forest, maybe? Bigfoot, Sasquatch, Yeti, if you live on a place that has a high mountain that's cold, you know, anything like that. Mothman, the Chupacabra, anything around your neck of the woods? Let me know. All right, everybody take care. Be awesome, stay awesome. What is up everybody? Editing Skilly here, and I needed to take some time out at the end of the video to thank some very special people. This would not all be possible. I wouldn't be able to be making six pieces of content a week. I wouldn't be able to be putting out anywhere near that level if it wasn't for channel members who support me at the engineer and squadron levels. Being a channel member each month and providing that monetary support really does help me continue to do this. Otherwise, I'd have to go get a real job again and I wouldn't be able to make videos. So I appreciate that so much. And with that said, I got to say thank you to squadron level channel members for the month of April 2024. And that is Junior Price, Paulo Azul, Leslie Santana Salamarone, Economist, Morgan Pompu, Stephanie P., Sergeant Snowball, Yorkie Queen, A Sickness, Papito, King of Gaming, Mars Bar 1993, Yoshi Jones, Travis C., Mr. Gold Ember, Michael Kanan, Stewie MC, Veil of Moonlight, Rio Stat, Alex Evans, Miss Paolo, Sir Kirito88, Devastation Machine, Babylon Sky, Long Pig Lunchable, J. KS Plays, Jack Yo Lantern, and Yeti. Thank you all for supporting at the highest level of channel membership. That means a lot and it helps out a bunch. I really appreciate it. I also got to say a big thanks to those supporting at the engineer level as well. They help make this all possible too. And that's Zacanthia, Carrie Warren, See My Halo, Darcy Dubia, Atinar, Ryan D, Josue Perez, Nancy Matthias, Disabstracted, Dr. Short Sleeves, Irish Tater Salad, Esten Cantrell, Caitlin, Judas Goat Barbecue, Thomas Ricci, Panda Guy Wu, Classic Mini Cooper, Crypto Neo, Sarah Davidson, Jen Lee Jones, B Not Tier 99, so sorry if I butchered that, Zach Flumgum, 2D Heath Bar, Zombie Bowtie, Black Halfling, God Multiverse, Bray Sees You, and Monkey Tellbory. Thank you all for supporting at the engineer level. Again, without squadron and engineer level channel members, this would not be possible. I myself owe them a huge debt of gratitude and everybody who enjoys my content and likes how much content I put out, you guys should be thankful to them as well. I hope I get to do this for many, many months and many, many years to come, but these channel members make that possible. So thank you guys. Thank you. Everybody take care. Be awesome. Stay awesome. Is this, is this healing? I think it's healing. Oh, they can see that. Oh, I'll cut this from the video. No, I won't cut this because this is dumb. I'll leave it in. All right. Bye, everybody.